currently what's happening in Kurram tribal district is not something new or it's not happening for the first time. In the past, we have seen on multiple occasions that tribes, both from Sunni and Shia school of thought, they fought over property. And this has been happening since 1980s. Uh, and like last night, we spoke to the locals, both from Shia and Sunni tribes. Uh, so they are reporting the armed clashes between both the tribes and they are also uh, reporting uh, some killings in those clashes. And they are also complaining about the passive attitude of Pakistani government. Uh, uh, so uh, this is not happening for the first time and the Pakistani authority should have formulated a policy uh, uh, to how to tackle these issues. Uh, and uh, also, uh, if you look at the militant lets, uh, landscape in the region, uh, so uh, we do have some um, uh, sectarian militant outfits whose entire uh, policy or narrative is built on sectarian violence. Groups like, uh, like ISKP uh, and few factions of Pakistani Taliban, so they could also exploit this uh, the current situation of Kuram tribal district. Uh, and um, uh, if it uh, gets uh, the sh uh, shape of uh, sectarian uh, uh, violence, so this issue uh, will not uh, remain confined uh, to Kuram tribal district. This will certainly spread all across Pakistan. On the other hand, uh, we are uh, noticing that uh, uh, social media accounts uh, being op operated from uh, Islamabad, Lahore, Peshawar, like the major urban centers of Pakistan, uh, and these accounts uh, are linked to Shia and Sunni groups. They are also building a narrative. They are also they are trying to portray uh, the conflict in Kuram tribal district as a sectarian one. So I think the government should intervene on all levels uh, to tackle this issue. Uh, and, you know, they should um, activate all local resources like the district administration, the law enforcement agencies, the local tribal uh, elders, uh, the religious scholars uh, to, uh, uh, to resolve this uh, conflict. And uh, there are also some uh, audios uh, attributed to a few uh, militant factions uh, from both sides. And uh, they, they are trying to exploit the situation for their own political agendas. And they are trying to um, turn this uh, to a property dispute into a sectarian one. 